Okay. Is it yeah, it's going. Sexy? Do you want me to do sexy intro? Do the sexy, oh, intro. sexy intro. Do it, let me see. Oh, well. I want to get warmed up. Welcome back to the Saltiest Dogs oh, Podcast. Shit. The only podcast featuring Joe Sawyer. Tell the people how you're doing, Joe. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not gay, but... I what was... do you mean? What did the, Where did that come from? Um... Oh, crack a cold. So, one. yeah, we're back next week. Or this week. It's been a week since we recorded last. Has um, it? Yeah, it has. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, pretty good. Pretty good. How has your week been, E Dog? What do you do? How has my week do you been? You do a lot of the sexy, sexy, sexy. Well, sexy. you know me, JJ. If there's one thing I'm doing, it's sexy Teletubbies. I was a big fan of Teletubbies as a child. Sexy. The Left 4 Dead mod when you can shoot the Teletubbies. That's pretty good. I dressed up as a Teletubby for Halloween when I was just a boy, Tinky Winky. I'm pretty sure the purple hey, bitch. That, the, um, I think oh, Max was Winky. also Tinky Winky. Uh, that's sexy. Yeah, I think you were gay. I know I wasn't. I, I was think, a baby. I think Even if I was, gay. maybe I was gay, baby. I'm fine with that. Well, yeah, because I dressed up as a Teletubby as well. I think I was the uh, yell guy, which is kind of racist, can't say that. Did you know that Teletubbies was a metaphor uh, for the Japanese internment camps of World War II under Ronald Reagan? FDR, JFK. <sighs> Did you know George Orwell? Uh, Bush. George Orwell, the guy who wrote the book, <laughs> uh, was a beat cop in... I think it was like he was a beat cop in um, one of the English provinces over in Asia where the British like owned territories, but they're going through a civil war. That was his a big inspiration for him because so he was cop for the war on the worlds world of the, the no world i of the forget worlds? where it was it was like not mesopotamia or something like that what are you saying it was man? the british providence you know you have the mesopotamia? Brits were trying to take over and then must i yeah it was it was pretty sexy jesus christ consuela so slap that prize hard i want to our first what what do you think what do you think makes this pod different than all the other pods? Because every tick dick Tom and Harry has a podcast. Yeah, that's true. What what sets us apart? I mean I got some ideas, but what do you think? What what do you think? Well we're still in our infancy. Mm, yes, Which we are. We haven't bloomed yet. But... We cannot consent. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a controversial topic. It's nope. Very, uh... That is not a controversial. I just said that infants can't consent, and you said that's controversial? To who? Well, not controversial, but what, what it was I meant to say was... Uh, this could go either way. It's kind of a... No, it can go one way. A, there's only <laughs> one way this can go, JJ. Uh, you know, yeah, I can't. I can't. You can't. I was looking at the age of consent in a bunch of different countries because I, I watched this movie. I'm on a I'm on a Jennifer Lopez kick with my roommate Mize. Oh, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, we watched the new Marry what? Me movie with Owen Wilson. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Is not Shakira. Jennifer Lopez. Did you watch uh, the murder in the building or whatever the fuck it's called? The mum in the in the east in the in the wet in the middle window. That's with Jennifer Lopez, right? No. Or that's Lena Gomez. <laughs> Two very different people. I don't think it was either of them. <laughs> I don't fuck. No, know. well, we've been on a J Lo kick. Owen Wilson and J Lo were in the new movie Marry Me, where they get married. Ooh. And then it turns out there was another movie that J Lo and Owen Wilson starred in. Like twenty years ago, called Anaconda, great movie. Big Snake, John Voight, and he does a terrible accent. He's got a greasy little ponytail. Hell of a movie, let me tell you. I mean, I've seen the movie Anaconda, but it was like one of those like 
Sharknado movies, like it just like was really bad CGI. Yeah, and, that's like, what this is. Really shitty Ice actors. Cube? I forget my but Night Cube. Yeah, just got Ice Cube and the whole movie is going, Damn snakes! Damn snakes. <laughs> yeah, that's good shit. Dude. And so we we just keep watching Jennifer Lopez movies. <clears throat> and so She wasn't a night Carl, you're right. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's Jeanette McCurdy. I was. That's who I was thinking. Okay, of. okay, JJ. No, <laughs> J Lo is like a famous singer, but she was also in a movie in like nineteen ninety something, late nineties with uh, Robin Williams, where Robin Williams is a guy who ages four times faster than everyone else. So at the age of ten, he looks like he's forty. So it's like better. Is that movie just fuck called like Benjamin? Well, Kate. Benjamin Butt. What is wrong with you? Use your words. Don't say gay. You know what you're saying? You say gay, JJ. Benjamin. Fucking knock it off. Okay, I'm sorry for all the gay people watching. I apologize. Thank you. No, and Benjamin Button is he's born an old man, and as he ages, he becomes like a little fetus baby. This was every year that he's on this earth, he, he ages four years, like in cat years. So when he's 10, he looks 40, but he still has the brain of a 10-year-old. So it's about Robin Williams, who has the brain of a 10-year-old, body of a 40-year-old, and he goes back to like elementary school to go through school because Sounds I don't know, he's game, depressed. Bro. Okay, what did we just fucking say? Oh, you got to yeah, stop saying it, dude. Right, yeah, yeah, that's all right. What is this, 2012? That. Yeah, it's just not not good, not good, Sway. Oh not my good. gosh, JJ! I'm sorry about that. You keep on breaking up my train of thought with so your homophobic what, what, slurs. What makes us different than the other podcasts out there? I don't even remember what I was talking about. Robin Williams. There's something that I was bringing back. Uh, Consent. Robin Williams is dead. In the movie, Robin Williams has the brain of a ten year old, and he starts making out with Fran Drescher, who's like one of his friends' moms. And they just start making out and grabbing each other's cheeks. And then you're like, well, he has the brain of a 10-year-old, so this is pretty much like statutory rape. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, yeah. It, you know... But we're but looking it's up... It's America. You want to know the youngest age of consent there is in the world? What's it? What do I know? It's 11. Uh, There's a place where you can free. leave. It's like Cambodia or something. It was just like, ah, the age of consent there is 11. Once you turn 11, Sweet you're, home, Alabama. you're ripen for a piping. Uh, that's pretty That's pretty good, but that's pretty fucking weird, too, if you think that's about it. That's pretty gross. So what? what? Cambodia. Cambodia uh, is South that. America. Yeah, holiday in Cambodia. Holiday in Cambodia. You're asking what makes us the... What makes... Pod- salty dogs, the saltiest. Oh, oh shout real quick. We got an Instagram coming. I'm working on it. I'm just lazy. Yeah. I haven't done it. Yeah. But I could probably bang it out and like, Ooh. tonight, maybe, because all I need is the JPEG. To make the profile picture, Which I sent you this, then I'll yeah. like share on my social, tag you with it, and then get it out there. We can put it on Reddit. Like, come follow us on Reddit. Oh, then, great Reddit page, sexy then, Reddit page. Yeah, I'm part of a couple YouTube, um, uh, Instagram channels on Discord. Oh, sexy, sexy. Yeah, so we can, like, get this shit going. I think your you dog know? is dead. What? <laughs> no. Okay, well, you're asking what makes our podcast different from all the other Jimmys and Winnies out there. I it's... thought you were going to say something a lot worse. Mm, no, that's you. That's your job. Uh, I would say absolutely nothing. I'd say, well, i say this might be the worst podcast in the world. Hey, Hey, I, it's, our skits are bad. Our podcast is bad. That's kind of the appeal of this, right? Uh, yeah. But I think it's like Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, we appeal to younger audience? That's right. <laughs> what? Um, so, uh, yeah... Did you watch Windfall yet? Wait, we're just going to skip past that? That's all that yeah. was? 
We're gonna skip. But so that, nothing makes us. We're the best podcast ever. Well, here's what I'll say: is I want it to become. If people have seen cold ones, I would like our podcast to become more like cold ones, where it's like we're actually doing shit during it. We're not just talking about the length of our people. But like they got clout at least. Yeah, you they know? do have clout. Yeah, we don't have any clout. Yeah, but we have all the film equipment to do we that. We do. And we can get more, can we? Go kooky. Go kooky pooky. Oh! Yeah, and, and I want to bring guests on too. I have I have a third microphone. Well, yeah, because, yeah, this summer I got to. I, I want to get rid of that ping pong, that ping pong table in my room. Mm, There's a sexy ping you pong know, table. You know, just though. make a nice sexy. setup. Like, got a longer table like this one. Because this one was like only like sixty dollars or something. It's uh, Aria can kind of see it like bending down just because yeah, of the weight. About a shitty it. folding table, so yeah, it was like sixty seventy bucks. Mm-hmm. Gotta get rid of that. Get a better table. Get like uh, if another mic, another camera, and then I think. We would be lit because do we? Yeah, we'll figure it out. We might need like a laptop, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, and a lot more is going to come on the Patreon. I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, yeah, Patreon. This is what me and JJ were thinking for the Patreon. The one one dollar a month, maybe five. I wonder, wonder five dollar a month. Is that on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, we would just upload just the podcast audio only. And then on the Patreon, we put up video. If we continue on with this format, we'll see how it g- 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 goes. I also want to start uploading clips to the YouTube channel from see the podcast. G- 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 goes. With that little yeah. fucking pop belly. Look at that pop belly. I think, yeah, we should definitely keep the camera for now and just get people sexy yeah. enticed you know sexy. and then when it's not we'll have to make i'll have to start making slideshows of like bill bill clinton bill Gates. oh bill clinton you got a slideshow watch slideshow while uh, we talk yeah you know? sexual relations yeah you know and say you know and say With no Joe, so. You know, same dog. You know what I'm saying? What was your next Shh. fucking question? My mic fell. Oopsies. What was your next question, JJ? Do you not tighten the... Ethan! I'm friggin' I'm hitting the shit, JJ. Well, I thought that... What if the whole fucking thing just broke right in the <laughs> middle of the pod? Dude, I'd be so sad. Today, I lost my glasses... We went to TGF Fridays, lost my glasses, and the goats, uh, we got out, but that sucked, penis. Oh, fucking hell. What was that? I don't know. Wait, look behind you. I don't know, I can't see it, Jim. Oh my god, no! What? That was the... the... 2018 like, Olympics. You don't even. No, it wasn't. It was. It was like a 2012 Germany Cup. Oh f- yeah, that's pretty fucking impressive, dude. No, it's, I have one at my house. You do not. Yes, I do. Max got me the same fucking one. You dink. Pick it up. I you, see it. Just make sure it's not broken. Make sure. Oh, it's that, was, not broken. that was a different one. I thought it was a different one. Yeah. See, it's a fucking one of a kind. No, it's not. Coca Cola, big corporation. All right, ask me the next it, question. It is JJ. a big corporation, JJ, but JJ, it's let's collectible. Go, let's go. Let's get off capitalism. Let's talk more about slapitalism. You I like talking about capitalism. Not You're really. cap- That's cap. You you got so much alcohol here, JJ. That's JJ. just one bottle of Bacardi. Lemon. Lemon. What is It's that? actually pretty good. I like that better. <laughs> It's what? Hey man, how come we don't get burrito on the podcast, man? I want uh, burritos. Why? Yeah, we need to get guests. We need to do the hot ones challenge. I'll be on the Patreon. No, it won't. I'll be on the channel. Hot ones. We don't even have anything to put up on the channel. Are we gonna put shit up on the Patreon, motherfucker? Dude, we're gonna skip 
skip the channel. That's, that doesn't that's make sense. Man. No one else has covered it. Skip the channel. Uh, go straight to Patreon. We're just going to have words. Camden, Camden G, whoever that guy is. He's got a real bone bone for us. He's always. Uh, Gustafson, yeah. Yeah, Kimmy G. Well, he's a film school buff. Yeah, Phil, we'll get him as a guest, you know, sometime. Number one fan on pod? Yeah, I uh, think he's our only fan, honestly. Uh, um, probably. It's probably not a cap. Uh, what's the next question, sex monkey? Um, uh, did you watch... Uh, you better have watched Windfall. I watched it last night. I watched Tell Windfall you'd watch it. with Meth Damon and Gwyneth Paltrow. Meth da- No, shut up. Stop. I said Stop. Meth Damon. Stop. From Breaking Bad. Uh, what the fuck is his name? I don't know. Who ca- Jesse Plemons, I think is his name. Plemons? Really? Because yeah. really? I, I, I like never. I just know... Uh, yeah, it's on Netflix. Just, I think it just came out. Yeah, it was on the trending I, list. I heard about, I think, I think it might have been like the Smart List podcast or something, or the Jim Jeffries podcast or something. And they were Jeffrey. just talking about how this new movie has come to Netflix. Yeah, and it called Windfall. Kind of blue butt. I mean, just a good way to put it is more vanilla American version of Parasite. What? How? I don't know. It just, it's just same same kind of like concept, you know. You got the poor guy, the rich guy, and then they feud, you know. I mean, I guess, but Parasite was like done really well and it showed more. Well, of a yeah, class divide. that's why I said it's the American vanilla version, really. Yeah, but this movie was essentially just a poor guy. If he is poor, I don't even know. He broke into a super rich guy's house, and then they show up, and then they just like bicker about how he's gonna steal their money, and that's literally it. And it doesn't even make sense because the guy like helps him steal his money, and then. They introduce, like, the only likable character in the movie just to kill him off immediately. Oh, the uh, gardener. The gardener, yeah. And he's just, like, a nice, simple Mexican gardener. And he's like, oh, thank you, sir. You know, gracias, gracias. Oh, and they kill him off the funniest yeah. way. Yeah, and he just, he tries to make a break for it. He trips, falls, like, smashes his head on, like, a glass window and then gets a piece of glass in his neck. And then he just bleeds out and dies. You gotta stop punching the mic, bro. I gotta keep doing that. You gotta. Because you're pissing me off. Are you right pissing now. in my milk? Do girls drink as much milk as I do? Oh. Um, you know, Ethan. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. do now. Yeah, my favorite part of the movie is when it ended. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really have a part. Yeah, I really liked about it. I mean, it was alright. I'm not going to shit on it too much. But it was boring. Yeah. It was kind of boring. Uh-huh. I mean, it was alright. Wasn't wasn't the worst. So your review is, so it was boring, it was kind of boring, I'd it was give it, right. I'd it give it a... Seven comes out of ten. Yeah, I give it. Oh, you know, what? You said it was boring. You give it a seven. I'd give it like a f- five comrades out of ten. I was gonna say seven, and then I was gonna say six, but yeah, right around there, might be six or so seven. Six. We're official score from Saltiest Dog Podcast. Six out of ten comrades. Like, yeah, zero full pen scenes in the movie. Yeah, v- really brought it very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. disappointing. Not a Green Knight. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, because well, yeah, it just you kind of saw it was gonna happen. What was gonna happen? Like, yeah, it was super obvious that the wife was just gonna have a little pissy fit. And be yeah, like, because the well, the guy tried to whore her out in the beginning. And then, like, the rest of, like, a good 30, 40 minute section. And then, yes, she ends up killing him. It's like, no surprise there. Yeah. Like, I'm not surprised at all. I kept on thinking it was the girl from Community, too, but it wasn't. 
That's uh, I never watched Community. What? You never watched Community? Donald Glover, Chevy Chase, Joel Lockton, well, we, we watched like the first two episodes. We didn't laugh like at all. They're good series, you stupid cuck. <laughs> you don't say that. You know what? You know what? I got something I gotta you know what's say. A good I got series. something I gotta say. What? I don't understand why everyone freaks out about the B movie and never talks about robots. I, I, I was gonna good segue is Seinfeld. Yeah, you know, Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld ended his, his top of the charts great show. TV show and decides to do the B movie and everyone just starts jerking their little weenies off to the B movie, but Jer- just jerking couple, the stingers. Jerking off, the sting yes. dings to the ring dings. And it's just like I don't quite understand because robots came out just like a year or two later when he's also the main star in robots. Or robots is a much better movie. Wait, sure, there's no woman who tried to fuck B. Wait, Jerry Seinfeld voiced one of the robots. He voiced the robot, number one, cluster. Really? Yeah. I did not no know that. No one cares. They're just yeah, like no one. No one cares. I like that movie. You know, but they want. They want the B. They want the B they human want relationship. The B. Well, kind of liked it. Uh, hey, what you like the B movie? I like B movie. Everybody like B movie. I remember when I saw it in theater and it was playing and they, you know was, uh, the Beatles song comes on and then she flies into the mountain and explodes. No, I I didn't like the second half of that movie as much. Oh, when the flowers die. Well, not necessarily just that, but it's like I don't know. It's kind of cringe. You know? I was like, it's kind of cringy. Kind of cringe. I agree, Joe. I you like don't even the have to robot get a robot movie. The robot a movie. Lot more the lo- big well. Like I love the yeah. She like farted, dude. That was a pretty classic scene. <laughs> Whoa, uh, that movie is just robot is a good movie, man. That's a good, good movie. movie. Robot's man. a good robot's movie, a dude. Good thing robot's thing. a good Whoa. movie. Good, good, good movie. Good, good movie. So, did you good segue okay. to robots? Oh, and we're gonna talk about, um, uh, oh, well, oh, oh. have you still not watched because you were talking about how your uh TV director or whatever who did your classes. Was jerking off the ballad of Best Girl. Yeah, I still haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. No, but yeah, my my film professor was really rubbing his tip to it. He really liked I, it. Yeah, I just watched it last night again for the second time. I mean, it's it's pretty good. I mean, you're saying like, it's pretty good, but like, why would you watch it too? You watch you, you watch it twice. You watch movies twice. Yeah, I mean, that's what film buffs do. No, they don't. That's what the Victorville Film Archive. No, does. they they watch a movie and they say, "Oh, it's it's good," but it's not The Godfather Part Two, and then they just watch that over and over and over and over again. What? Yeah, what? what Godfather the Part Two? What? what? What's in the original Godfather, the only one to com- come about? No, everyone likes part two. Everyone jerks off about part two, Godfather. Godfather really? Part two. Yeah, everyone likes I, I never really watched part two. Because, like, as soon as, like, open a shot, they're only in, like, Italy. It's like, I'm out. What? Like, I'm out. That's, that doesn't happen. I'm out. <laughs> they take, well, yeah, the beginning part of the movie is in Italy. Yeah, I'm like, I'm Would you go to Italy or ride the gondola? I I <laughs> went to Italy. I've been to Italy. Italy just got knocked out of the World Cup for second second time in a row. They got knocked out by North Macedonia. Ah! Uh, country with a population of like 14 people. Uh, probably more. Don't, don't talk don't. shit about Macedonia. Dude. Why? Macedonia? Dude, they got a sick flag. It's like the sun. It's like yellow and red. And it's like the sun coming up over the horizon. Pretty oh, bitchin'. Way cooler oh, than yeah, Italy it's flag. Bitchin', isn't Just it? Just the green, it's white, and bitchin'. red. It's like, what oh, you post yourselves? Dude, you wanna do uh, the cummy talk? What cummy talk? Oh. Spermace? Spermace. Kill Bill? What about Kill Bill? We had... Yeah, Last week we talked about our favorite Quentin Tarantino movies, uh-huh. and we mentioned a lot of them. 
but we didn't mention either Kill Bill or Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now, yeah. those two, Kill Bill has a very special place. So that's got to be uh, close. I think that's either number one or number two up there. I love Kill Bill. Like that whole anime scene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's uh, just distracting. It's a professional pod. What are you doing? What are you doing? I like Kill Bill. I like the part when um the doctor just lets people have sex with her when she's unconscious. And then she, like, kills him. Remember when, when he's when yeah, she's in the hospital after Yeah, because he was a buck and he's red. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, and then she, like, slams the door on yeah. his head. So spree- and then he gets a pussy wagon. Girl like, power. Pussy wagon. Pussy My wagon. favorite part was, I mean, I don't really like anime, but that anime, I did like that anime. I, it just felt like it was, put, like, that movie's just, like, I think I heard an interview with him, like, he's just, like, fanboy of, like, Quentin he is just, like, a fanboy of the, um, like the uh, karate scene, like Jackie Chan and uh, all the that. Shanghai schools, uh, the Shanghai schools. The Shanghai schools cinema. Yeah. And so he just, like, was like, this is kind of like a funny homage mm. to all the movies. Like, yeah, because, yeah, the anime, that was so good. It was well timed. So sexy. Well timed anime. Well timed. Well, well timed. Yeah, I did. I and Reservoir Dogs. That's up there too. I haven't seen that in a while, but mm. that's up there too. Uh, dude, when they're all walking out at the end, and Quentin's overclocking the camera, so it's slow motion. But you don't have enough frames, and so it's that's like, in the beginning. I thought that was in the end too. I think you're... no, it's not in the beginning. It's not the end. Ah. It's oh, yeah. it's in the beginning when they're playing Little Green Bag. That's a good song. I don't tip. That's Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Shout out to Steve Buscemi. Shout out to Steve Buscemi. Do it right now. Shout out to Steve Buscemi. Shout out to Steve Buscemi. And Adam? Or a clicky clacky? I just had to do a quick, a quick click and a quick click. Uh, you know what I'm saying, JJ? Uh, uh, hey, JJ, you got to knock it off with a bing bong, man. You know what I really uh, like, JJ? Good Coke. You know what I really like, JJ? I like shamrock shakes. No, you don't. You see, you didn't like it, JJ. You were like, <laughs> if I had to buy yeah, it, I'd have shake I never would. Yeah, it hurts, it hurts the time. But you know what I do time. like? Swipe me. I like how I went in Billy Joel's song, and he just starts wailing on, on the harmonica. Billy Joel is on. You know? I have a harmonica or, or, right or, or, here. Or, 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 That's or, a good like a Bob, shout out Bob right Dylan. here. We're going to wail. <laughs> yeah. That was, like a, that was something. Oh, sweet, sweet, don't like it. Oh, sweet, sweet, don't like it. Ooh, oh, no, oops, I'm sorry, sweet, sweet. Don't like I'm it. sorry, I'll put it away. Yeah, but when Bob Dylan, like, whips out harmonica and he starts wailing on it. And he's like, so Bob Dylan, different than Billy Joel, you're saying, you asshole. I'm saying that those two people are different? Yeah, you should have specified no. that. Our fans are going to be very mad about that. That two white men play harmonica? Yeah, that you mixed up. They're going to be very upset. Joe, what's the story behind your tattoo? Um, is this pod on Spotify? <laughs> it will be. Yeah, it will be. I I, I want to get on Apple, but yeah, I've been lazy. No, oh, the tattoo, you can't see it. Mm. But, you know, it means fuck, fuck him. Suck him. What? That's, it means fuck him, suck him? No. Ah, that would have been a lot cooler than what it actually no, means. No, no. It's an anchor. Bike week tat? Bike week tat. I want to get another tat. We should get Salty's dogs. Bike week tat. 
10,000 subs. We'll get tattoos well, really, right on our dicks. Really ain't... Right on the dick. 10,000 subs for dick tattoo? You do want to do it for less? I'll go. Yeah. I'll <laughs> go like I 10 subs. More, but... I'll do 10 more subs so we'll get dick tattoos. I already have penis tattoo. Oh, that's... Uh, that's uh, why? That's a, just a waste of money. Why? That's not a waste of money. That's sick. It's uh, like it was practically free. Dick tattoos. Did it myself. Oh, you did it yourself. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let another man do it. Well my you shouldn't tattoo, do tattoo you shouldn't tattoo. know what you're doing because I shouldn't my know boss what almost lost his leg because his like girlfriend did it like on his ki- on her kitchen um thing and it was pretty clean, but I have it's just got one little speck of the cola or some shit that could Get amputated and be get an infection, and your whole leg is fucked. What a story, though! You could go on a podcast and yeah. tell it and get ten billion view. We just can't do that. Why not, JJ? We just can't have dick tattoos What's unless next? we get what? ten thousand subs. Whoa, ten thousand sub tattoos. So, is it a tattoo on a dick or a tattoo of a dick? I'd rather get a tattoo I, of a dick I than on a dick. I think you're thinking too much about this. I think we just need to go for it. Either dick or the dick on the salt. Ah, nice. All right, JJ, what's the next? What's the topic? What is where? Are, I don't know where I am. I know. Well, I, I, Larry. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Drake and Josh? Oh, Drake and Josh. You know, Drake used to be the cool guy. Everyone used to say, hey, Drake, hey, you're Drake. looking pretty cool. What's Drake? up? You gonna fucking pork my sister? Oh. Oh. And then they go like, oh. So, hey, do you want to get down? You can get down. Yeah, but here's the thing that I do not understand. When we were children, you know, I bet everyone would have looked at Drake, you know, a sexy, cool guy plays the guitar. You know, everyone was probably like, hey, that guy's going to have a successful career. That guy's going to be sucks. And then people would look at Josh be like, oh, man, fatty, fatty. He's going to die. And then it, it's, it's the other way around, you know. Josh is all cool, living his best life, drinking Chardonnays in Malibu while Drake is touching children. I mean, I don't know a whole lot. They both have m- mediocre careers, don't they? Uh, like, Josh you know, is friends with David Dobrik. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure uh, Josh, because he was in, like, Drill Bit Taylor. That's all I know, really. Uh, and he was in Red Dawn, Red Dawn remake? He? Come on, man. Yeah, I, I saw that, actually. Uh, I, think, I don't know what else he's in that I've seen. He was in a series with John Stamos. And it got canceled. Because I don't think anyone watched it. John Stamos? He, why? Who is John Stamos? Full House. Okay. Oh, John Stamos, is he the one that just died? Nope. That, what? Well, who was that the guy? Bob on? Saget. Bob Saget? Because... Full House was John Stamos. Yeah, and he was Uncle Bob Sexy. Saget. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, Bob Saget was Danny, Danny, Danny Tanner. Yeah, he was the he was the guy who seemed really gay. Dude, what what is up with you today? Oh, uh, am I Ron? Yes, I mean, he had like three children. But, His wife was dead. Is that what gay is to you? Is that the I I never follow that show deeply. Yes, I always just it's thought Bob they were Saget's like wife, gay. like I, I'm assuming, dies, and so he has to ask his brothers to come back and help him raise the raise the kiddos. I thought I thought he was just gay. You I thought he had children and was just gay. Adopt? You can let be gay and have adopted children. Why would that be a show in the nineties, and two thousands? You think you think I'm that was gonna... a show? You think they were like, oh, you know what people love in the early two thousands? Gay people. Let's make it with national television. Let's talk about saltiest. Well, 
Are you mental? Or start with gay Josh Stamos and then go back no. drinking Josh. None of these people are gay. Drinking Josh, though. What about him? What you just keep on saying well, names? What, what's about the? Did you look into any of the Drake and Josh feud? I didn't really, but I, uh, I think listened to something joke. last week. He made a joke about Drake. Made a joke about Josh's wife, I think, and then Josh was like, mm, "Drake, you better apologize to my wife right now." Real incel behavior, you know? Yeah, I mean. As far as I know, it's like, yeah, like, or I think it's more of Josh's, he's, uh, because Josh, like, didn't invite Drake to the wedding, (laughs) and, like, he didn't invite him to the wedding, and then Drake made the tweet, and the, what, about his wife, and then she started crying, and Josh is like, fucking apologize to my wife and I need apologize I haven't followed I don't know if there is gonna be any full, any more developments I hope it's just done I mean it's yeah. kind of sad because we you grew up thinking these guys they are brothers they do like each other but it's not the case they don't like each other okay you do realize the actual people are different from the characters in the show but at the time did you think of that yeah. No, you didn't. No, I knew they. they what, you, you thought they were the same fucking, fucking person? Inbred child. You didn't know that. I was not an inbred child. You were fucking inbred. I'm adopted. But you're also. Mm. Gay. I'm. What is what, what is wrong? Do you have like some deep sea hatred against the gays or something? Why do you keep bringing this up? We like gay people. Yeah, gay people are right. I like gay people. Uh, uh, I don't know any of them. I knew one in high school, I think. Ah, yes. Yeah, the gay yes. people. But yeah, I don't know any gay people now. And we also live in New Hampshire. Well, yeah. What does that have to do with that uh, thing? It's kind of we're not we're not the most progressive place in the world. Yeah, it's not uh, California. Sure, we are not progressive. We're. Oh, like Owen's racist. It's kind of mm. bad. I, I worked with really racist people when I was at a furniture delivering place. Oh, really? Yeah, and like super homophobic and everything. And anytime we entered Vermont, he said it was the lesbian capital of the world. Because, yeah, I just know my coworkers, they can get per- pretty political sometimes. Mm. I mean, yeah, because, yeah, they were all... Most of them are military vets. Joe? They're very political. If you had a baby, would you cut its pee-pee skin off? Oh, like, um... Oh, yeah. Uh, I just watched that Seinfeld, like, Larry last night where they had the press. And, like, they had the... And Kramer, like, didn't want him to. And he, like, took the baby. Like, tried to run away with the baby. Because he wants to keep the foreskin. I don't know about that. I don't know. I haven't really looked at it. I, But I would think you want, would want to keep the foreskin. But My. you know what? I, you want to keep the foreskin. It's a little harder to clean down there. But we have things like Manscaped. They get nice and smelly good. Yeah, I don't think that's what Manscaped does. Isn't Manscaped for, like, hair? No, they have, like, ball deodorant and shit. What the hell is ball deodorant? I have some, actually. You... I I have some. I got one thing of ball deodorant. Yeah, actually, I have two of them, actually. Wait, what? What is bald? It's, it's it deodorant. It smells good, yeah. Specifically it's like for your nuts? Deodorant for your nuts, yeah. yeah but why? Who's down good. there smelling? What? Who's down there smelling nuts? No, no. There could be I a keep lot on, is it, is it Manscaped then that I keep on getting this commercial, this ad on YouTube, and it's just like this girl, and she's like, ah, Daryl, I have to tell you, your balls stink. Wait, so you did know of it. You were just blind to me. No, that's that's as far as I get. That's all I hear her say, and then I skip the fucking commercial. Why don't you have an ad blocker? 
Why don't I have ad blocker? I have ad blocker on my thing. Because I, I think it's illegal. I think it should be illegal. You know what? what? I think you should kill yourself. Fuck. I, gladly. Oh, I think it's bullshit that you can get an ad blocker. Yeah, ad because blocker. Because that means if, if you watch a YouTube video, you are not paying. And you're essentially just stealing from people. <laughs> Which, yeah. I mean... Not that it means much. I mean, I, I legally stream movies all the time, but that's, you know, big government. I, I, Corporate fat cats. Yeah. I only stream, like, old... I haven't streamed, like, a newer movie. That's because new movies blow butts. Because, yeah, the Oscars are on Sunday night, tomorrow night. They're, I think they start at, like, five or something. Because I know Tim and Eric, or Tim... Heidecker's thing starts at 8 o'clock Eastern. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm definitely going to watch that because they are funny as fuck. Sexy and Like Greg funny. Turkenton, Master Code Breaker. Oh, shit. Dude, he is so funny. Yeah, nothing Dude, gets that, me hard like that, man. Yeah, those, those people, that, that, that show is so funny, the on cinema. They're just, it's just gold. It's just gold, man. It's just gold. And you know, did you know that Joe Estevez guy? Oops. He's Martin Sheen's brother. Yes. What? Everyone knew that. I didn't. Like, platoon? Platoon. And you always has when we watch, like, Decker. Decker. Like, I always has suspicion. He's in Decker? Joe Estevez? Yeah. He's the... Uh, president. Really? Decker? Wow, he looks really fucking old. Yeah, Joe. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, J- Joe Estevez is in a lot of movies, isn't he? My name is Joe Estevez. Yeah, Joe Estevez. I, mean, I feel like you're Joe Estevez. L- yeah, he's a very cool guy. He's, he's got. um. Wow, yeah, it is. Yeah, he does. I always figured. Man, I like I always said like, is that he's that Martin Sheen? And it's like no, it's not Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen wouldn't be a Decker. He's not cool enough, you know. <laughs> Martin Sheen. Joe, what makes this podcast? <laughs> Joe, when are we gonna start doing um? Uh, Go on. St- Go on. Have you ever seen Heather's? Have, no. Good movie. It's it's like a predecessor to Mean Girls. You know, it was back in the eighties and the late eighties. Watch Mean Girls. Yeah, what am I cock. fucking gay? What is up with this gay thing? I like women. I watch Mean Girls. All right. I've heard good things about Mean Girls. Yeah, you have. So stop saying things are gay unless you're saying it's sick. Because being uh, gay is sick. Mall bitches, where's the button to play mall, mall bitches? bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we play downtown brown. What? Downtown brown. Da- da- that should be the intro, dude. The downtown brown. Well, the salty dog song's pretty good. Yeah, but we got, but downtown we got brown. copyright strike. What? We did? Yeah. How? That sounds like from like 1980. So it's channel down, then. <laughs> no, I, we, we only have. Well, we already have one. We have two strikes against us in terms of community guidelines. So if we get another one, our channel gets taken down. So we got to be extra careful. Yeah, yeah. I just don't understand why that. I th- I thought. Well, I was thinking about that. Like, are they are they gonna really copy strike us on this song from the nineteen fifties? And yep, yeah, I did. It counts. It's playing fucking for like one percent of the fucking actual thing. Fucking it's bastards! Good couple shits always. God. Yeah. Uh, we currently have two community guideline strikes against us, uh, both for hate speech. Hate speech. Yeah, one was because of that that video I made back in the day to the full house, and it was oh, your yeah, house. That one. 
That wasn't even hate speech. It doesn't even make sense. Uh, yeah. I just made like a full house intro for World War II. Maybe they're ho- maybe YouTube is a bunch of Holocaust deniers. It would make sense. Yeah, but I took all the videos off of YouTube, so it doesn't even make sense. And then I just put it to the everywhere you look and made like a title card. You should really, because you downloaded the original and you yeah. put it in our Discord. You should just like put it on Facebook and like read it and like get that trending again that because that was pretty funny i had probably not in good taste now since the guy died what guy he was the guy that died full house oh hitler no <clears throat> john stamos <laughs> john stamos is still alive to i know who was the guy? That Bob died? Saget. Bob Saget. You remember that Tourette's guy that was really famous when we were kids on YouTube? And he would just go around, he would scream like Niga random. Higa? No. It was like some fat guy who pretended to have Tourette's and he would just scream like Bob Saget. I don't remember. He would just like walk into a room and he'd just go, Bob Saget! And it was just like, what is it? Like, it clearly like wasn't Tourette's. He was just making shit up. Did you see Dude, that a girl I, got I, caught? I look that up. There was a girl on TikTok who was like, got like half a million followers because she was pretending to have Tourette's. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Just, I just, uh, I heard about that. She's fucking gay. Yeah. Oh, the roses here. Big rose. Big rose. You better not fucking mess with the camera. Oh, oh. Fucking Her tail bitch. is getting dangerously close. Go away, Rose. In space with Markiplier. Wow. What? That's crazy. Why Markiplier? Do you just upload a video called In Space? Oh, it's the new YouTube original, dude. Markiplier, dude. We can watch it along with Minefield. Vsauce, Michael. Yeah, we should just start streaming full episodes of minefield we should we really should just us watching it we could react to it and get so much clout so and much vsauce clout so much vsauce clout like we can react rosie rosie you silly girl <laughs> we could just watch the oh, video god where, dude where he's like Locked in the locked room, in the room for dude, like that forty eight hours or twenty four, I think. No, it was a lot more than twenty. I think it was like a week. Yeah, uh, he was in there for a, a while. He was in there for a good bit. It wasn't twenty four hours, mate. Took a nap or something. I know. We should watch it again. I know. We should upload that to the Patreon. Dude. You keep on saying upload. We don't have a Patreon. Well, we know, but we could. Who's today's episode sponsored by? Um, Gus Johnson. Nope. No, it's America. The state of New Hampshire? Oh, uh, no, um, I would say McNuts. Do you know Kevin Spacey? Kevin, I know Kevin Spacey. Do well, you know I'm Kevin just going to say something, but you're, Kevin Spacey's in a new movie coming out. He is? Yeah, I think it's like some French movie, and I'm pretty sure they're okay with like raping kids, so it kind of makes sense. But <laughs> I have some money. Yeah, they got sneaky French penis. <laughs> sneaky French penis? <laughs> sneaky French penis. Uh, they said sneaky. Like it's, just, like, it's in you without you even knowing. Well, yeah, you know the spy from Team Fortress 2. Oh, like, oh. oh that, is, that does make sense. You know that it is the date rape capital of the world. Team France. Fortress 2. Good old Paris. Like Team Fortress 2. Oh, I bet there was a lot of uh, inappropriate uh, conversations happening on Team Fortress 2 between elderly men and young women. I'm just kidding. Women don't play Team Fortress 2. Yeah. They're only better than OG that. people who fucking have boner valve still play that. Boner fluid. Yeah. I mean, it's a good game. Good game. But it's free. It's free. It's free. free. Unlike, uh, you know. And like, uh, you know, Elden Gay. El- uh, what is up with this gay thing, dude? You gotta I'm stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a fun word to say. I'm not denying that it's a fun word to say, but you can't use it in, in these derogatory ways, Jay. You can just bleep it out. If you I'm not gonna problem. bleep it out. You can bleep well, you're just watching fucking YouTube videos in the middle of the pod. What are you doing? No, I'm watching um, Elden Cringe. That's what that's... we should call it. 
Elden cringe, dude. I'm pretty sure it just looks so cringy. It doesn't. It looks like a fine game. No, it's not my it kind like of game. Like a fun game. It's not slimy sex tet or honey pop. We should play honey pop on stream. No, we should play orc massage. What is uh, orc massage? Looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, should show you that. Yeah, orc I massage. did. Yeah. I almost got it. I was just close. I'm like, it's like you get played off. Like this is art, dude. It, so it is like art. Art. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up orc massage on Steam. Today, sponsor Orc Massage. Oh, God, why? Yeah, that's our sponsor for today. Orc Massage. Oh, dude. We'll look it up, and we'll put a link in the description. To Orc Massage? Orc Massage. Yeah, I just looked up Orc Massage, and it just showed me their massage therapist in the area. It's like, that's... Uh, not you know, I've never gotten a massage before. Seems I kind of nice. want a massage. So I've got a massage, I think. I've had, like, two massages. Uh, None with a happy ending. Uh, which I'm sad about. That's kind of um, just a cucking. Yeah, it's, it's just really sad. It's like, I just want, I just want work massage. <laughs> just want work massage. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what I'm looking, talking about, look it up on Steam. You know who I'd let massage me? Who? Will Ferrell. Isn't he kind of old? Yeah, he's kind of old. That's okay, you oldie but goldie. I would goldie let, shower. I'd let Steve Carell give me a motorboat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many like white bitches think about that? I, I, what are you talking like, about? What the office is the greatest shoe if you know when in like reality the office is like not that it's like all right up until like season like six three. When does and, when does Steven leave? Well, when does Steven it's leave? not even good towards the end when Steven leaves. It's like kind of just cringe. Mm, you like the, is that your new word? Cringe. It's cringe. I like it more than gay. Hey, you can't say that. Oh, sorry. I like gay more than everything. Yeah, I do yeah. like gay. I do like you. Oh, like Hulu. What's that? Who? You know what's a better show than uh, than The Office? Oh, then cringe. Last Man Standing. Wait. Sick, last right? Man on Earth. Last Man on Earth. Yeah, Last Man Standing is terrible Tim Allen show. <laughs> La I thought Last Man's... Oh, you... Have you watched uh, Quirks Segue? I'm a Republican. <laughs> have you watched... Um, Watch what, JJ? Why the Last Man? What? Like, like it's like the Y. Why? Like the that's Y chromosome. X. That's an X, man. No, man, that's like, an X, man. No, I'm making, I'm making this, the stick. Man. Hey, man, get out of my head, man. Yeah, hey, man, get out of my head, <laughs> man. It's like, hey, I already talked to you guys today. It's like, no, no, those no. are friendly friends. I don't know what to think, man. Get out of my head, head, man. Get out of my head, man. <laughs> Uh, Jay, so you why? remember? You remember Kyle X Y? He didn't have belly button because he was born in test tube. Who's Kyle X Y? It was a uh, it was a show back in the day about a boy who didn't have a belly button because he was born in a test tube. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything past that, but I'm pretty sure it's about a boy without a belly button born in a test tube. Is this real? Is this? It was a real thing, Kyle X Y. It was a shit back in the day. You I know? mean, it was a movie. No, it was a sh it was it was a show. What well, I'm looking up show. right now, a cunt. It was a show. A cunt. What do you? What, you don't need for that kind of language, Jeff. It's a season. There are three seasons. Kyle uh -huh. X Y. Uh huh. Sci-fi. Oh yeah. Had Matt Dallas. Sounds like a porn star. Uh, it does look like a porn star. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone else. Jamie Alexander, or maybe. Ooh, Jamie Alexander. Sound like Game of Thrones. Uh, Chris uh, Librio. Um, go back to Last Man on. Our uh, Last Man on Earth, starring my favorite man on the planet, because um. You know, my other two favorite people died last year. Uh, oh, last yeah. Man Gus on Johnson Earth. and <laughs> Trevor. 
<laughs> Trevor Moore, yeah, was one of them. He died, and then uh, uh, old, 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 old man weekend update also died. Oh, a weekend update. Yeah, Seth McFarlane or Seth, Seth Myers? No, Seth Myers. Seth, Seth Myers still alive. Seth He's still alive. He's so. He's so. Oh, oh. Seth. No, I'm talking about. Oh, I can see his big mug. He was always on Conan, and he made a joke about moth. Oh, Norm Macdonald. Norm Macdonald. Yeah, Norm Macdonald. No, I know. Last night, or it was two nights yeah. ago, I think. Yeah, you know. Friday. Uh, I, I like, was like, it was Thursday night, and I was, I would just watch one fall, and I'm like, well, that's something that sucked, and then Norm McDonald got on, and the, his special, like, the dog one, that he made in, like, 2015, I got through, like, five minutes of it, and just was laughing, but I was like, this is too sad, I can't watch this, because... He was a cool guy. Mm, he, well, you ever hear his joke about, he's like, hey, you know, my wife got in a coma. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, talking to the doctor, and I was like, hey, what can I do to help? And he says, uh, the only way to save her is uh, by performing oral sex. And I said, by God, doc. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so I went in the operating room, and, uh, you know, and I come out five minutes later, and I say, doc, she's choking. Classic. Uh, it's, it's I think I messed up the punchline. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but they, everyone remembered Norm Macdonald, Michael Jackson joke. Yeah, he's the, like, with the he's with like Conan. He's like raping uh, babies. Okay, or wow, that was a lot. No, he's like, uh, you hear, um, you know, uh, Michael Jackson is uh, having a kid. Yeah. Oh, and, and if he has a girl, it's gonna have sex. He's something. like, yeah, if it's a girl, he's gonna name it uh, Charlotte. He what if it's a, a boy, boy he's, he's going to have sex, sex with it? Oh, uh, that's a good one. That's that is classic. a classic Tim the Tap Man classic. Tim right? the Tap Man? He fat, man. Yeah. Yeah. But he's making money. He make many, I, many millions of money. Yeah. I, I, I saw him hanging out with the ninja. On oh, my yard. Tyler Ninja Fortnite Blevins? Yeah, dude. That was crazy. Oh, cringe. Remember when Tyler Fortnite Ninja Blevins was like the number one man on planet Earth? Who's that? Is that Ninja? Ninja. But what did you call him? Fortnite call Tyler him? Ninja Blevins. He played Halo, man. Overwatch. Remember what Tim the Tatman played Overwatch? Oh, those are the heydays. Like back in the yeah, day, like it could have been like nice haggis. The salt mines. Who was in the salt mines? Oh, you're talking about Oversalt. Yeah. When they make the good of like, XQC and he would just be like, Me, the, is that the chicken? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do you think anyone can actually follow what we're talking about? Or do you think that this is just an hour straight of autism? I uh, know. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's not what? It doesn't answer the question. It was just two options and you said, no, it's not. You monkey. There's some dust. Um, hey, well, stop fingering the mic, buddy. People can hear that. They can hear you going. Ah. <laughs> Rosie, stop. Goodbye, Rosie. It's been nice. Oh, password toddler sixty nine. Toddler oh seven six nine. Yeah, no, that used to be. Why? Why did you make your school password toddler? No one's gonna think of that. Dude. I was in middle school. Like no one's gonna think of no one's toddler gonna think. sixty nine. It's a password. Yeah, but like you knew that you had to hand that paper in, and you knew that a woman had to hand type. No, it in. That, no, that's where. The story is a little fabricated. What, the hell? what? You said you lying to me, boy? No, I'm saying someone lied to you. Okay. Because that was enough for my school password. My school password was Cash99. Like Cash99. And my. Gmail password was toddler69. Same with my Steam account. That's still your Steam account? No, um, I changed them all. But it's $3.69. I'll never forget it. Yeah, so, Forgive uh, me. If you ever want to falsely accuse anyone of, of having sex with children, you'd probably be the person to do it with, right? Uh, well, I'm going to fight tooth and nail in courts 
in the courts, and you can take that to the bank. Yeah, you can take what to the bank? That I'm going to fight that in the courts. Well, I think they want to take you to the bank, and you're going to give them money, money. Why? No. No. It's not true. No, 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 that's not true at all. That's not true at all. Jay, remember when you fell down four flights of stairs and you had to be taken in an ambulance to the the, 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 the hospital and they said there's no saving him and then you died? That's never happened. How's your karate classes going? Yeah, I've been an ambulance. No, you haven't. Ambulance. When were you in an ambulance, bitch? I, I was in an ambulance like... One twice actually oh. I read it twice. Whoa. First time I don't know what the fuck is going on. Badass dude. Because it was like I think it was like it was like a week after like surgery and I had like so many drugs going through my head. Oh, that must have been sick. Yeah, it was fucking sick. Yes, dude, that was dude. Fucking tripping balls. You know, sometimes <laughs> I just sit there and I wish that like I could get brain cancer. So I got a bunch of trip drugs. Balls dude, on ketamine. Dude, be dude. sick. Enter the cave. <laughs> ketamine, dude. <laughs> oh my god. No, the one the uh, yeah, I've run it twice, a bitch. Did they touch your penis in it? No, I don't uh, think they need to. I think they saved that for the doctor. Oh, yes. And then, because the EMTs are just like, oh, we'll get you in the thing. We'll stick you with the IV. We'll give you fluid. Mm. Just don't croak on us. or Because we got the EKG machine. We got the chest paddles. <laughs> chest paddles. Chest paddles. <laughs> yes. And they probably also have a lot of drugs in those yeah, ambulances they, they, too. They got a lot of ketamine in there. They got a lot of Narcan. Got a lot of Narcan. Uh, you can only Narcan, ketamine's Narcan. only safe in certain because th- this is a horse tranquilizer. That sounds nice. You know, what we should take ketamine. Ivermectin. No. Why not? We, we should do that in the hot ones challenge. Yeah, ivermectin wing. <laughs> <laughs> just put ivermectin on the chicken wings and just start eating. Them. So here's the thing with the hot ones thing though: is if how many how many sauces can you buy for it? Well, because the the official wing packs you can get from Walmart, I think there's like ten of them you can buy for ten dollars. So you could get like yeah, get two and then. All the hot sauces, I think there's like 13 of them or something. And it's like $40 for the pack. Uh, the official pack. Mm. I mean, they're probably, they probably made good man of money. Yeah, I bet they did. That. Yeah, because if we're going to do it, then we got to have questions as well. we got to be important. Right. Mind seeking, babbling, been babbling questions. You know what I'm saying, JJ? Questions about math? Like, we could do, like, what's oh, XQC to the Y squared? Oh, it's XQC? <laughs> I don't know what XQC is. And Morse critical. Math. Yeah. 10 million sub Morse critical? 10 million sub Imagine when he went. Imagine when we hit 10 mil? Dude, imagine. We'll be like PewDiePie by that age. We'll be like a Swedish boy reacting to videos on our kitchen floor. Joe, what happened to the good old days? Oh, Dune? Dune? Dune suck. Dune? The book sucked. I never saw the movie. Uh, The movie was too sandy. Too sandy? Too sandy. I, I sure, I'm sure but it they do, was. They got that guy who did the music for uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh, that's And a then he's got a lady and she's going like... <laughs> <laughs> like in uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Like, <laughs> yeah, like in uh, uh, oh, the, Shrek, the Shrek 2. two yeah. Where they come down, uh, the witches are like, yeah. the broomstick to the egg. 
What what's that song called? It's like immigrant warm. song. Immigrant song. That's a good song. Letty Z, yeah. Letty Z, Z, dude. Letty Z. Letty Z, baby. Dude, music is not the same. It's all the same. It's all just. And it's all just. Come. Music's not the same. It's just all the same. I mean, there's some sentence. good songs out there, but it's like they're all pretty much the same. I don't think we're ever going to get out of this loop, you know? It's like, really? It's like, what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a hot take. You know what I'm saying? You Pornhub man? Are you an ex-hamster kind of guy? <laughs> um, oh gee, I think. Well, at Hamster, I think you find that first, like, when you're first starting out watching what? porn. No, you find porn up. Nah. I didn't hear a porn up until, like, after. Like, the first one I went on was Beak.com. What? But you've never heard of Beak.com? No. It's literally, um... Like, it's a pretty cool uh, porn website. It's like Larry, all the reality kings and like Brazer, they all make those promotional videos. So you subscribe to them and Beak has all of them. So they, there's all like top quality stuff, you know. There's never an amateur uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean, something you want to have a church yeah. yet, but no, you know to be honest, I feel like that's probably first, my porn up. That's the a first porno porn place I ever went on was poop with three three O's because it was unblocked on the oh. school. <laughs> <laughs> that's so BSAS looked it up. One I, thought, day. I thought it was a lemonparty dot org. Yeah, I was gonna say lemon party because that used to be a big thing because I I do like old men sucking the cock. You like that? I like that. I like that. Don't like make an arrange a, a second for you. No, the first time I ever ever spanked the monkey, it was to to pee hub, and I left it on the family computer, and my mom found it, and then my dad started yelling at my brother, my older brother, and then he was like, <laughs> "Oh, it wasn't me," and then he came up to my room, and he was like, "Was this you?" And I was like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Oh, okay, just delete it next time." Like, it is weird. He didn't care that I was spanking it. Yeah, it's like that is. Well, yeah, I would just close out of it, dude. I, you know what I mean? You're finished and you're you got that post nut clarity. Look, kid, dude. You have that post nut clarity you're and you're just idiot, like, dude. you're a fucking idiot. What, you never left porn on the computer? Nah. I come in here before and there's porn on the computer. Nah. Yes. Nah. Yeah. Nah. I may have put it there. Y- you did. I've done that many you, times. You've yeah. done that many yeah. times. You change. You went on to a wallpaper engine, and you made, like, an anime chick. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I used to do it to Maxwell all the time when he wasn't here, and I would just turn his TV on and put, like, weird gay porn on just YouTube like on. tentacle porn. Tentacle, yeah, and he would just watch it for hours. <laughs> He'd just be lost, like, <laughs> like what is going on right now? <laughs> Uh, oh, so good time. Good time. So little. Well, JJ, we've, we've passed the hour mark. We're at oh, an hour really? and seven. Yeah, we are flying past right now, JJ. Uh, American go goes. What, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, do we have anything left on the paper on the list of things to talk about? No, no, we finished that about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> 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 no, we, uh,. Uh, Kill Bill. Good movie. What makes us different? Uh, brains. Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. He's coming on the pod soon. I made Bernie Sanders laugh one day. It was the best day of my life. He was at Plymouth State my freshman year, and he was doing his campaign for Hillary Clinton, because at that point he had already missed out on the presidency. And he was walking away with a bunch of his security guys, and I was at the back... I was at, like, the back behind the gym when he was walking out to his, like, big black SUV, and I just screamed at the top of my lungs, where's Danny DeVito? And I just heard him say, like, oh, 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 and they just, like, started really? wagging That's his finger. hilarious. Yeah. Uh, uh, best day of my fucking life. Have you ever seen that news clip of when I get interviewed? No. From that day? For some reason, I was there with my girlfriend and her, and her at the time, and uh, and her like best friend, and they were interviewing us, and she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna vote for one of the independents," and my girlfriend was like, "Oh, I'm gonna vote for uh, Hillary Clinton," and 
And then I just, they're like, oh, who are you going to vote for? I was like, ah, Donald Trump. And they go, oh, wait, what? Really? Why? And I go, mm, emails. Yeah. And that's all they put in there. And then I look like a dumbass, which is kind of the point. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really funny. That's like, fucking hilarious. I, I was like 17 Bernie at Sanders, time, is it? You know? I didn't even vote, so I, I don't even think I was old enough. I was a little spring chicken. Little oh, you're bitch. probably yeah, like just 19 or... Just what's 18. What's the voting? A- yeah, 18. Yeah, because I, I didn't get to vote in the, in the in the whatever, the primary. That's weird how they interviewed like 18-year-olds. I don't know why they interviewed year olds. It was like, super weird. Yeah, I would have said, I'm going to vote for Kanye West. Well, he wasn't running then, bro. Well, he, he wasn't was running run, then, bro. He was running... Yeah, was he even in 2016? You yeah, you ran when Donald Trump ran. No, he yeah last time, like with 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 whoever our president I don't is now. Know what you're saying? Dude. Back in twenty back kick, in twenty sixteen. I want to kick your ass. I want to kick you. Why don't we do boxing event? I did boxing with Brent Berkman. Did you kick his stupid ass? Yeah, kicked his stupid ass. And then I'm like Bradley, get over here, and kicked his ass as well. Wow. That kicked his dog's ass. <laughs> nice. He's like, fuck you, Kiwi. And then... <laughs> hey, <laughs> fuck you, Kiwi. Whoa, Joe, you've been smoking methamphetamines again. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. 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 Not confirmed. Not confirmed. Jay, if a strange man walked up to you and said, here's some ketamine, I have a feeling you'd probably take it, right? Like, it depends on how strange the man. If I knew him, like, it was like Shane Sharps. You gotta stop, like, name dropping people. I mean, you just just ousted him for being, like, a drug dealer. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. It's Not true. Joe, 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 Joe. Our pod. Thank you for uh, watching Suck the Episode. <laughs> Which was sponsored by... Sponsored by... We already said it. We already did say it. Who did we say it was? We said it was uh, Orc Massage. Orc Massage. <laughs> sponsored by Orc yeah, Massage. This, this episode of South These Dogs brought to you by Orc Massage. If, if you ever want to say... I, I'm bored. I need to see some art. I need to go to the Louvre. Well, you can't go to Louvre because that's in France. And when you're, you're in France. Yeah, date rape capital of the world. You, yeah, you go, you want to see some art. But you're not in France. You're in the U.S. Fuck it. Hey, where we don't... We, we watch art on our computers. Go on Steam and find Orc Massage. And that's today's sponsor, Orc Massage. Orc Massage. Great game. I haven't played it yet. It's on my list. I've been super busy with... Um, with what? RuneScape. No, RuneScape. <laughs> I've been super busy in Orc Massage. Play it or I... Uh, it's better than Raid Shadow Legends. I'm telling you. Way better than Raid Shadow Legends. Better than AFK Arena if you ever played that. Fuck you, Markiplier. And thank you. That was our ads. Back to the show. What? I thought we were ending it. Yeah, but that's our ad guy. (laughs) That's our ad. Ad break right there. It's like we got our ad. And you can put it. I don't want to do this podcast anymore. Ethan, come on down. This podcast makes me want to die. Ethan, we're going to make this into a... We just need to get a few more ideas. So I want to kill myself. We need to... We need, <laughs> we need to... Uh, we need to get more... Uh, ideas flowing we need to put in the research you need to quit your job <laughs> <laughs> work at sam's club just work work at sam's club and while you're at the food court in sam's club oh, yeah. you can look up like the latest news with like 
Jake Paul or iDubbbz doing his new wrestling thing. Uh, boxing. Yeah, iDubbbz. You, you, gonna, you gonna watch that, Ethan? Am I gonna watch what? The boxing thing? Yeah. Uh, do I have to pay for it? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, may, may, probably not. Probably a legal string. Joe, it's time to end this thing. We already did. We did? God. Why is it still going then? Well, because you have a dress. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.